Hi guys, it's Jules Lawrence and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I'd do something quite chilled. I'm just gonna sit here and have a bit of a chat with you about the Burberry new rebrand and logo. This was all announced and released yesterday via Instagram on both Ricardo Tishy's personal Instagram account and also the Burberry account. And yes, Burberry now has a new logo, a new look, a new monogrammed pattern, which is all really exciting. But I have a few questions, queries, and mixed opinions really on it all. So I've always loved Burberry. I've done a few essays and stuff on it during my time at university. As I studied international business and of course I am interested in fashion as well so this is something that I can get really passionate about. I find it really exciting so I just thought I'd share something like this on my channel. I hope you enjoy this kind of video. If you do please do actually let me know because I'd like to do more of this sort of like um, industry analysis video type of things um, in the future. I love doing all of the research and stuff for it um, I find it all really interesting so yes if you do enjoy it please let me know give it a like and then hopefully I can create more of these in the future. So I should probably start with Burberry's old logo so I've done a little bit of research on this and and I myself loved it. It was an image that became synonymous with the brand and for me just screamed luxury, high-end fashion house. The original Equestrian and Shield logo was created in 1901, but was registered in 1904. It had such a meaning to the brand. I found that their old logo with the Equestrian and the Shield typically means purity, nobleness, and honor, while the Shield stands for protection, strength, and durability, which I think are all really applicable to such a big hard-wearing fashion brand particularly as they have done stuff for like the UK army their trench coats and things and just really showed the history and the British heritage and now the typeface that typically came along with that equestrian logo was one based off of the Dido Dido um, linotype font which I love it's very much a part of fashion it's the same font used by Vogue but all slightly different variations and that was first created for Burberry by Fabian Barron I believe is how you say his name in 1999 and he also did work for things such as French Vogue and Harper's Bazaar so as you can see like these are big fashion names um, in the industry both um, in like media and print but also in the actual fashion houses themselves and again I loved it I just think that kind of a serif font just screams luxury um, I liked that it was kind of like squat I don't know, it had something quite um, cinematic, dramatic, yet like elegant. I've always loved that and I've used it throughout all of my essays and stuff, like essay titles. I don't know why, but I just love the look. Um, I think it is really elegant, yet simple, clear, but bold. So now looking at their new logo, I think it's sad to see that old one. Go. But that is the wish of Ricardo Tisci, the new creative director of Burberry, who recently came on board and I've found that Burberry right now are going through a bit of a transition phase and their collections are usually um, capsule collections or stuff from the archive that they're re-releasing with slight variations but there's nothing new coming right now, which is understandable because Christopher Bailey's just left. So they're in an in-between phase, but this is a really good sign of the start of their new phase. So as much as it's change, I think a change for a lot of people is sometimes hard to get your head around, but I think it's exciting. I do think Ricardo Tisci is gonna boost Burberry into the future, something a bit more contemporary. I would hate to think that it was to such a detriment of the Burberry heritage and the look that it's been founded upon. So very briefly, Ricardo Tisci has come from his own personal brand, which he's been working on, but also Givenchy, which really boosted his profile and he was praised highly for his work there. I think now looking at this new Burberry logo, we can see the influences that he's bringing across. Everything is always very bold, contemporary, clean, lines which is nice I think that was nice for Givenchy but now I kind of feel like it's oversimplifying Burberry and it's great history and heritage which Christopher Bailey always really celebrated so that's sad but it's development Ricardo has his first full Burberry show in September so I'm really excited to see his new designs but also the theatre of his shows because it's been said and he said himself he's really passionate about the theatre the way that his pieces are showed and portrayed and the romanticism that surrounds like a fashion catwalk show so I think that'll be really exciting so whether we like it or not whether we miss the old one or we don't, there is a new Burberry logo. So I want to talk about that a little bit. Really interestingly, Ricardo Tisci released the email correspondence he's had with Peter Saville, who is the appointed designer of the new logo. And I think some of their conversation was actually really interesting from the time scale that Peter was given to do this work for Burberry to their color choices. I was really surprised by how simple and to the point their emails were, which is great. I guess it gets things done. But my initial thoughts are, I think for me, this logo over simply Simplifies Burberry's heritage and history. However, now having seen this new logo used on their website, I think you can see how it's clearer and more usable across digital platforms, which again is something that we'll obviously see it move well forward into the future. I'm not sure exactly what the font is, but for me, it doesn't really have any style. It's 
very, very simple, bold. If you picked out any of those letters from that logo and had them stand alone, I don't think anyone, even in a few years time, will be able to tell you that that is a letter from the Burberry logo, which I think is a shame, because I think the old Burberry logo really did have that association. For example, if you saw the B from the old Burberry logo stand alone, I think you would know that that was the B from the Burberry logo, whereas the new one, I don't think you would have any idea. It's just over simple. There are no telltale signs that it is the Burberry font or typeface. Now, at the same time of releasing this new Burberry logo, a new Burberry TB monogram pattern was also released which I think is really interesting and yet again much like the logo my thoughts on this are mixed so the first thing that I really like is that this is a monogram that's been taken from the archives that Ricardo Tichy has said himself was a big influence in his new branding of Burberry and really interestingly if you look really close at his email correspondence you can see that on the reverse side of the page you can see the different elements that he had been looking at and took influence from so I'll try and zoom in on that so you can see the TB old monogram that was already created but hasn't really being used so prominently throughout Burberry in recent years. But I do really like that that heritage and point of history is being carried forward. Now it's predicted that this monogram pattern will be used a lot throughout their leather goods, which is an area that Burberry are looking to expand upon and really push. Now my concerns with this new monogram pattern is that I don't want it to replace the old Burberry tartan. That was trademarked in 1920, but not used on the insides of the trench coats until 1924. But since then, that is Burberry. If you see that, everybody knows that that's Burberry. Now it has had a bit of a checkered past. It's been hugely copied and kind of cheapened over the years. However, since Angela Arendt, they sort of took back the reins and regained ownership of that check as a symbol of luxury, as opposed to fake and knockoff items. So I would like them to still use that. I just think it's so Burberry that you can't completely replace that. I don't think that would work for Burberry. So I'm very interested to see how that plays out and how wide spanning they plan on using this new Thomas Burberry monogram pattern. And finally, I just wanted to mention the colours that they've chosen for this TB monogram. In their email correspondence, it is referenced as red and honey. Um, I do kind of like the idea of the honey because I think that does, for me, look Burberry. It's always, they've always had beige and slightly muted tones, but the red, one doesn't look like red to me, but also it's very, it's very orange. It looks very Hermes to me. And I think, yes, the honey and that red do go well together, but if it was for Hermes, I don't love it for Burberry. For me, it just doesn't look like Burberry. So I was a little bit shocked by the color choice and that matched with the new dramatic bold logo. For me, when I first saw this, I was so taken aback, so surprised and just isn't what you typically expect from Burberry. But that's, that's changed. That's what changes. I think it will be interesting now to see how this works for them. I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate either of them. I think the logo and the TB monogram both have their positives and negatives. And I would like to reserve judgment until I've seen how they are incorporated into the pieces. I just love Burberry so much and I really don't want them to lose the heritage in their pursuit of a new path. But as I have said, that is my biggest area of praise for the TB monogram. I love that it's taken from the archive and hopefully it breathes new life into this old design. So they are just very briefly my initial thoughts on this new rebrand, new logo and monogram pattern. Please do let me know what you you think I would genuinely be so interested to know how everybody else finds this. Um, I have had a quick scroll through Burberry's Instagram and Ricardo Tichy's Instagram to look at the comments and, and reactions are mixed. Some people do like the bold look, but I think overall people aren't loving it. It is a big change. I think it will take a little while to settle, but this is always the case when you have something like a big brand that already has such a large fan base and such an identity. If they change it, of course there's going to be backlash, but I just want to see what they do with this new design. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this style of video. Please do leave me comments below. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Check my Instagram out at George Lawrence and I will see you next week. Actually, no, I won't see you next week. I will see you on Tuesday the 7th because I have a video that will be going live on that date, which is very exciting. So be sure to check back on Tuesday for that. <laughs>